I will say, as pro-vaccine and I'm pro-science. I will say that right now. Also, I will say this. Um, consider the source material. <laughs> First off, I'm a comedian. I shouldn't be a part of anybody's research. <laughs> ever. Just ever. But the ban on the podcast, nope, no. <laughs> also, I will tell you to trust the science. Uh, but know this, I also get sunburns every year. <laughs> Multiple sunburns. And that science has been out there since the sun. Since, <laughs> since the first person has been like, oh, I gotta find some shade. That's, I ignore that science every year. That's the dumbest look you could have in a first world country as an adult with a sunburn just going, ha ha, fuck. Yeah, man, I really thought I was gonna get around it this year. I was doing yard work, but I was bobbing and weaving. I didn't think it was going to get me this year. <laughs> nope, first nice day of the year. I'm just out there like, you don't want to SPF too early. You want to get a good base coat. You want to get a, you want to brown up even, then you can lotion up. Second nice day of the year, bright red screaming cancer. <laughs> Got shoulders that look like French bread pizzas. Then after that, I've clearly tried to apply sunblock, but I've done it alone and been too proud to ask for help. And you can see that because you can tell I've just taken the tube, I will squeeze it over my head and just let it drizzle down, just magic shell style, just oozing down my face, just a little hot fudge Kyle, that's all. My, my head and face are a ghoulish white like the, the holograms from the Haunted Mansion showing up next to you. What you barbecuing? Blah. And the rest of it, I kind of push down around my chest and shoulders. My back is just a series of violent handprints. <laughs> just furious slappings. It looks like demons tried to drag me to hell. But thank God the copper tone was too slick and they couldn't get their talons in. Praise Jesus. Not today, Satan. You will not capture my soul for your demonic pits of hell. I managed to slip away and the flames of the underworld only burnt a spiky, tribal, Godsmack album cover looking thing. Okay. Relinquish your grasp, hellions. <laughs> you don't know what's in those needles, dude. Fuck you. That was always said by people with the shittiest tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what's in those needles, dude. It's always said by some dude, like, only God can judge me, scribbled across his chest. Did it with a guitar string and India ink at his cousin's pig roast, you know? How many only God can judge me tattoos you think have been in a courtroom? I'll tell you right now, it's all of them. It's every single one of those tattoos. Every single person who thinks only God can judge them has been judged by a terrestrial being. Only God can judge me. 18 months, fuck, man. <laughs> even beforehand, even, the, even before the whole thing, I just the anti-vaxxers kind of made me like, vaccines cause autism, man. Vac vaccines are causing autism. Fucking good. <laughs> we probably need more autistic kids. Yeah. They're the ones that keep beating robots at chess. And if you don't think that's an incredibly necessary individual in this day and age, all we do is keep getting information over the algorithm. That's all we do. It's just like, well, accept cookies, allow tracking. Come on, man, I'm trying to look at tits on this thing. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before we're like, uh oh, the machines took over the banks and I can't get my folding money out to pay my bills. What are we gonna do? Well, we could ask Toby if he wants to take a break from building DNA strands out of Legos long enough to save the world again. Do you mind, Toby? We'd love your help. We'll get you the big chocolate milk this time. <laughs> Greta Thunberg's autistic. She's trying to save the earth from ourselves. And the best we can come up with is, ah, uh, she's like a girl. <laughs> and she looks weird. She's a kid. So nah. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, I guess it's your unvaxxed homeschooled soft-boiled degenerate that's gonna save the universe. <laughs> yeah, that kid that's gonna overdose at an EDM concert and then 
fight with the paramedics over the flat earth theory is gonna be the one. Mama says on account of her womb being dead means that I'm just an angel for being here. Okay, we'll trust. Let's elect you into office. Listen, I'm a little burnt out, even on the people that I agree with, because it's getting a little too obnoxious on both ends of the spectrum. I'm, I'm a little sick of all my woke friends that are woke, they're woke, but they insist on having their own brand new white babies still. Like, you can't, you can't be burdened with that much white guilt and keep, you can't be like, we are the problem. Anyway, here's another one. No, you can't. Stop flooding the market with your shitty product. That's not, that's not how economics work. <laughs> you don't, there's plenty of kids out there to upcycle right now, so you don't need a new one. <laughs> or whatever term you want to slap on it to feel better. But then they'll try to defend it, be like, you don't understand, Kyle, I, 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 we're going to raise our child to be a feminist. You need to raise your child to digest plastic. That's who's going to survive. <laughs> that's who's going to live. It's not looking good out there. That's what you need. But, but Kyle, I wouldn't care if my kid was trans. You should care if they have gills. You need a kid that can breathe smoke or water. That's who you need, a plastic-eating fish baby, if you want any hopes of grandkids. <laughs> so I bought this van, and uh, the first stop with it to kind of test it all out, get used to it, I went down camping with friends. I went to Joshua Tree National Park. And uh, yeah, okay, we know Joshua Tree, but also, you know national parks. This is Utah. You have, hmm, whoa, wow, wow. Just stuff that you're like, don't anybody touch this. This is amazing. Arches, what's happening here? Look at, oh, dinosaur footprints? Oh, you mean God little, God's little tricksters? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, I won't bother those. But you know, but that is astonishing landscape. Just a little further south, Grand Canyon. I have to rub my eyes every time I'm there to be like, this is not a painting. This is a real, just this, this is a geographic anomaly a hole that big that I'm looking at. Um, but then you go to Joshua Tree after seeing that stuff and you're just like, ah. <laughs> no, 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 I say, no. I say, you, got, you got the rock that's on top of the other rock over there. <laughs> That's been that's pretty wild, yeah, look at that. Anyway, what's over this way? Oh, bullshit. Oh, look at, look at the rock that's on the, on the rock and a couple trees and doing the thing there. All right, so it's, it's, you know, it's, it's nice that it's there, but it's kind of just like, yeah, it's, it's like a geographic Kardashian, you know. It's, just, it's, just, it's, it's hot and of no value, but we somehow keep trying to make it a thing, you know. So, you know, and all the... All the honky witches from L.A. and the Stevie Nicks cosplayers go out there and recharge their crystals. Which, all right, all right, let's, all right I'm making fun of it, but you know what? If, if crystals make you happy, you're not hurting anybody, go have your special rocks. People have, people have rabbit's feet. Have a, put a rock on a windowsill in the moonlight, and the next day you hold it, you feel less anxiety. You're not hurting anybody. Go for it. It's weird times. We all can extract energy from unorthodox sources in this world. If you're... Yeah, listen, I, get, I don't do crystals. That's not my thing. I find a balance and a fairness in this world, uh, just an equilibrium whenever I see an attractive person getting on a Southwest flight last. That's, that's when I know that there is some small undercurrent of justice in this world. You know, you, you just, just see a supermodel, just somebody gorgeous, a gorgeous individual, and then you see that C on their boarding card, and you know they have no idea. And you're like, oh, honey, you're about to learn how the world really works. Yeah, you got bumped off a United flight or something, now you're here with the great unwashed. This is gonna be fun. Because they always stand at the front of the plane with nothing but middle seats open. They're just like, I don't, but I can't, but why? But what am I going to do? You're going to rub some elbows with some stinkers. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> Squeeze in here with some slobs coming home from Vegas and make some friends. <laughs> That's all. We went out there and just did, um, 
uh, drugs. Uh, I mean, like, it's... <laughs> but, like, that, but not, I, I don't even want to say it like in a woo, like, do you guys do this? I don't even... Just did mushrooms. I just think they're good for you. They're good for you psychologically. I'm doing... Yeah, okay. And I'm not, I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to proselytize about it. Do them safely. Do them around people that have done them before that you trust. And do them outside. That's all you got. Don't do them in an apartment because you're just like, fucking the toilet that just has water that goes into the earth, man. <laughs> Anything's a wishing well if you dream big enough, man. Is that where my car keys are? I'm turning it into a Ferrari. So just go, I mean, and, I, and you can have a bad trip, but it's not, I mean, I, I'm not even talking about acid. Just like, I had a bad trip on this one. Not bad, bad, but like, I just, I was with a group of dudes and they, I was outnumbered as far as the soundtrack of the trip went. And so they wanted to listen to jam bands and I found a new kind of hell for myself. <laughs> if jam bands are your thing, good for you. Bless your heart on that stuff. I do not hear a jam. I never hear a jam. I hear five stepdads who do not know how to end a song. That's what I hear. <laughs> I don't, I don't care what name of the band you tell me it is. It's one band for that names them all. It's called Noodly Lou and the Turd Herders. <laughs> and it's five dads in cargo shorts. And one guy wants to end it. You know one guy in the band. There's no end to this joke. It just goes on. In being, in being faithful to that genre of music, the joke just goes on until everybody's like, we do have to get out of here. That really, there's no shit on that one.